hello hello there welcome to the amma manson show so hopefully you are not a stranger here but what goes on here is education definitely some empowerment we add humor information and just a good vibe generally it is not just a talk show it's a live show we talk about life we unpick life we find solutions to the things that stress us in life and we make progress together it is the amma manson show and my name is amma your girl your educator your motivator and i kick your hand wherever we need to enjoy invite other people to join in and hopefully you have a wonderful wonderful experience on today's show let's get straight into things morning everybody good morning this is your sister Emma Emma Manson and I start this particular video with a declaration those of you who are uh, my followers on Facebook would have seen just the declaration this morning on Facebook but I want to start this video with that uh, declaration my name is Emma Manson and I am my sister's advocate. All lives matter, for sure. But in this particular period, black lives matter. And for me, at all times, female lives matter. Girl lives matter. Women matter all the time too. So I am a sister's advocate. But this morning, in this video, I want to explain what that really means practically. My first declaration is, this means that I fix her crown. Mm. Anything looks wonky on her crown. Her hair is out of place. No, I don't tear it down publicly. No, I don't ridicule her publicly. I fix her crown and make sure that other people don't see the wonkiness. Other people don't see it. I champion her causes. Oh, yes. She might believe in things I don't believe in. But because she believes in it, I will champion it for her. I will not pretend to believe everything she believes in, no. I will not patronize her that way, no. But because she wants something, because she believes in something, because she's passionate about something, I will push her. I will push her, even if it's not my beliefs. That's what I mean. I will champion her causes. I establish her ventures. When she starts a business, I am customer number one. Uno. Customer primo. I am the first. I buy the product before it is refined and I give her feedback. I tell her what is not great. I give her opportunities to fix them. I make sure that the next person who buys after me gets a better experience. And I talk to her about customer service. No, I don't bring it to Facebook to ridicule her because she's new. She's trying to establish, and my feedback is critical for her improvement. Mm -hmm. I establish her ventures. I share her advertisements to my wall. I put it on my network. I help people who know me, who might not know her, to see what she does. Yes, and I actually tell people about what she does. When somebody is after a service that my sister provides, she is the first name I put forward. I establish her ventures. I don't wait for her to establish before I become proud. No, I don't watch her struggle and then make it before I reference the fact that she's my sister. She is my sister and I am there from the start. I am customer primo. I am the first. I experience the worst because my sister has not had time to get feedback yet. But it is better that this experience is in-house and I am then able to help my sister to make things better. I am my sister's advocate and yes, I establish her courses, for sure. I patronize her goods and services just as I've said. It's that simple. You can see behind me, Amma Manson represents Juice Plus. For my sake, go check out Juice Plus. I'm a man send on juiceplus.com. You might discover for my sake some phenomenal health benefits. Check it out. And even if you choose not to buy, 
because it's not all times that you can buy or you would like to buy for whatever reason you can't buy the best thing you can do is not uh, hang me to dry in front of the detractors when you've not checked me out no don't tell people that the products are not good because you've not tried it no don't go telling people uh, negative things about it because you have no experience of it if it's not possible for you to say positive things about what i do the better thing then the next best thing to do is to mute about it mute about the negativity says mute about it the word is support support i'm not asking you to condone all my nonsense of course not i'm asking you to call me out and call me out brutally brutally honestly so that i know so that i am clear so that there is no ambiguity about what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. But because of your feedback, I have the opportunity to do things better, to improve things. Yes, you are my, you are my sister and you are my keeper. It is part of your responsibility to me to give me honest feedback, brutally honest feedback, so I can use that to improve. Your brutal honesty will avoid criticism from the outside later. It will avoid harsh criticism later and it is ultimately being very kind to me are you my advocate because you are my sister you are clearly my sister but are you my advocate do you represent my courses or do you see me as competition big shape it's a pity that so many of us do different things we, we're not even in the same thing but we are programmed, we are programmed by society to overcompete for no reason. We are programmed to see each other as enemies and we are not. Says, you are my blood, my sister. What's the competition for? What's the strife for? Why do you see me and want to pull down? Why? It's a mental disorder. It's been implanted for a long, 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 long time. A lot of us have not taken a minute to actually reconsider this and to call it exactly what it is. It's a mental illness, my dear. Something here is not where it should be. Because when you see me, you should see your sister. And when you see your sister, the first word in your brain from this day forward is support. Championing. Encouraging. Mm -hmm building, establishing a sister so we can all be proud together. That's how to be a sister keeper. Let's continue. I mentor my sister. So when you are my big sister, you take me under your wing and you mentor me. Please don't be fooled and think that I'm coming quietly. No, I might not even know what mentorship is. I might just want to be a free spirit. I may not even know the value of mentorship. That is not necessary. That is beside the point. Your responsibility as my sister is to make sure that because of you, I, become, I begin to realize the value of mentorship. Because of what you do for me, I see that I needed you in the first place. No, don't wait for me to need you. Don't wait for me to beg you. Don't wait for me to come in humility because sometimes ignorance makes it difficult for me to do that you my sister my big sister part of your job is to protect part of your job is to secure part of your job is to make sure that i am covered and i'm protected with you around me as my mentor don't watch me make mistakes before you tell me that's the process that's irresponsible that is very irresponsible. You should prevent the mistake. You should put everything you've seen and learned at my disposal. So that my transition through life is a lot smoother than yours. So that I don't spend time, energy and resources repeating your mistakes. No, life is not like that. Life is that one person learns and you put it at my disposal. And wisdom says that I do not repeat your mistakes because of you and because of your mentorship. You be my mentor. You be my guide. You be my advocate. You are my big sister. You are more emotionally mature. You take the whip sometimes and you whip everybody out of the way because of me. 
it is your job to bulldoze ahead of me to clear the path for me so that your little sister when i am running has an easier run compared to you the obstacles you met should be demolished because of you and i should not even see any evidence of those obstacles because of you then you are my sister then you are my advocate you are my big sister my protector for sure we do that with our immediate family if you go anywhere near my little sister be sure you will meet me with my cutlass my gun whatever weapon i have and if it's not even a traditional weapon i will manufacture one mm -hmm. in order to get to that girl you will have to go through me you really will have to go through me we need to extend that to a community of sisters not just the one not just the one i should feel that way about everybody younger than me every sister younger than me and it's not younger just in age if i've been doing business two years and you just started in business you are younger than me regardless of your physical age i can tell you things about business i can certainly tell you the mistakes i've made I have built five, six websites now that I've had to pull down because of small boy error, schoolboy errors, which had made me a subject of blackmail, of manipulation, and at some point I had to decide no more, no more, I'll take the power back. But now I do know how to take the power back. I should never watch you go back to the same old people to go make uh, build websites, no so that at the end it is only those people who control when you renew your domains and when you renew your hosting no 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 no. you need to be in more control of your destiny so now when you are ready to establish websites it is then my business to say hey sis don't do this nah don't do that this is what will happen if you do it it is better if you do it this way that way that way or well, sometimes I don't even tell you the wrong way of doing it. I just tell you this is how to build a site. And you use the new information so that you are never, never in the position I have been in. Thousands, thousands of pounds wasted. Numerous hours wasted. Sweat and toil down the drain for no reason. But you know, when I was building my websites, many sisters of mine had built theirs too. Many sisters of mine had also discovered this thing. But because we don't talk, because we don't share, I never heard it. So I have had to find this out from first-hand experience and it's been so costly, so costly for business. Why should you do the same? Why should I watch you make the same mistake? If I do, it makes me irresponsible. If I do, it makes me irresponsible, uncaring, unfit for purpose as your sister. I am your advocate. I am your mentor. I should be your guide. I should be your coach. I should talk you through it. I should make you strategize better so that when you are executing, you are fluid. When you are executing, you are flawless. When you are executing, it is worthy of praise and it brings pride to my heart because i know my role in that no nobody will see my face in the execution phase but it's not necessary between you and i we do know that i've done my best that i've played my part that should be enough for a sister that should be more than enough for a sister i cheer lead for her to cheer lead for somebody is to be on the sidelines singing dancing, screaming, shouting, drawing attention to the wonderfulness of your sister. That's what cheerleading is. Sometimes you have your pom-pom. Yes, and when you can see the atmosphere dip on the pitch, it is your job to woohoo and get the crowd going. When you can see your sister beginning to suffer, because life throws some deep, deep, deep punches, it does really bitter lemons. You woohoo! And your sister knows that you are there on the sideline. You way! And your sister knows that you are on the side, by her side, cheering her on and running. I am a footy mom. I'm a football mom. And when my son plays football, 
I don't kick the ball. But honestly, I am right there with him every step. I run the entire length of the pitch. When he has the ball, I am flying with him. He knows, he knows I am on the side. He does, so we run together. And I tell him what I see in my local lingua so his opposition doesn't hear him. Then I go back a little bit, fall back. Nope. Uh, a little bit to the wing because there's a bit of a gap. Because he's busy running, he's busy watching the ball. He doesn't have the bedside view. I do. The goalkeeper has left the right side. It's your best shot. Come on, son. Come on, give it everything you have. No, I'm not kicking the ball. But I am giving my son inspiration. I am giving him guidance. I am telling him what gives him an edge. And people would say to me all the time, when you are on the pitch, he plays differently. Of course, when I am on the pitch, I put information at his disposal. Nobody else does it better than me. I should do that for my sister too. And you should do that for your sister too. Look at the field and tell your sister, nah, this place is choked. Don't go there. A little, veer a little bit to the left because there is a gap on that side. Climb a little higher, sis, before you jump because there are no obstacles once you go from that height. Sis, do it this way. Sis, do it that way. So those of you who are in my network on Facebook, I have made a new sense of myself the last few weeks. I've been telling a lot of you what you need to improve. No, it wasn't because I wanted to be critical. Of course not. It's not because I think I'm better than you. Of course not. But I was being your sister. I know what we all do here. And I've actually come to know this game well. It is my job to tell you, sis, you cannot sit on Facebook and talk for hours. When you're getting no remuneration back, it makes no sense. At some point, your husband and the people around you will win. They will tell you it's a waste of time because everybody tells us, everybody tells us. And in fact, for most of us, it is actually true. You sit here, you talk, you have the audience, you get the numbers, and so what? So this, these last few weeks, it's become my job to address the and so what. So I started doing Juice Plus, and I've been talking to a lot of you about why I started doing Juice Plus and what that has done. And then I started doing other things. Actually, when I started talking here, I didn't start with Facebook. I launched my own souvenir company. I introduced you guys to my um, travel and tour company, the tour company which, it, which was already operational. I told you about it. I used this network to support my businesses and I used it to advertise extensively. Then I found that I needed things that are passive incomes. So I went to Juice Plus and I start, signed up to the travel club and I'm working on two or three others. Yes, I am into networking and affiliate marketing. I do all those things so that the time I spend talking here, the time I spend educating here is paid for by these services because I have 24 hours, my dear, and I do have bills to pay. And if I'm able to support my bill payments from this venture, then it makes the venture more viable. And that's what we are seeing right now. So it became my job then to start calling you and asking, sister, you've been speaking for a long time. Do you know how to make that time also remunerate you somewhat? Sister, you should check this out. No, not because, no, it's not of any personal benefit to me. But I need to tell you things that you can do to improve your network. Sis, I've discovered uh, an app. This app allows you to do this, that, that, and improve. It's been my duty to tell you guys. It's been my honor to tell you guys. I discover new things all the time, and I share it with you guys. My dear, you are a media person. You should be running a better network, was the discussion I had with the sister this week. You should be running a better network than mine, because I'm not a media person. But I'm taking some core principles and I'm improving and so should you do, my dear. So I am in your ears. I am telling you all these things. No, it doesn't mean I know it all, but it's my job as your sister to tell you the truth as I know it. So I tell you. We form a community around our sisters. 
when one sister stands, they are isolated. Bows, arrows, and bullets will fly at the sister and she will be down in no time. She will be down in no time. We see our sister as the most valuable asset. We see her as our hope, as our pride, as a community of sisters. We surround our sister and we protect our sister. We take some of those bows, we take some of those arrows, we take some of those bullets so that one person does not take it all. Each one of us can take a few and still stand. One person cannot take it all and stand. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So you surround your sister and you take some of her arrows and you absorb some of her bullets. Yes, some of them will still land on your sister, but because of you, less of them will land. And because your sister hasn't taken so many hits, your sister is more likely to remain standing to champion the sister's cause and to keep moving forward. You form a community around your sister. If you belong to a fraternity, you share her material so they access your sister's material. If you are in a network and your sister isn't, because of you, your sister should have access to that network. When somebody is bashing your sister, you go there and you tell them to watch their language. Watch their language when they feel back. When somebody is treating your sister unfairly, you are there and you challenge them. You do challenge them. When your sister is wrong, you come to her and you tell her to fix and you make sure at all times that she's practicing humility humility that's how you form your sister's network you wipe her brow because she's sweating and you wipe her cheek because she's crying if your sister is aspirational she will do both she will sweat but she will not always have the time to go wipe her own brow her job is to use her hands to keep making, to keep doing, to keep manufacturing, to keep forming. She should not waste time wiping her brow. You, who does not know how to do what your sister is doing, then takes it upon yourself to wipe her brow and her forehead. And when you see tears emerging, you wipe them and you kiss her cheek. And you tell her, life is difficult. But people live it. Success is very elusive. But people attain it. Come on, my sister. I know it's demoralizing, but come on. Come on, my sister. I know it is easier to pack it all in, but for the sake of all of us, you cannot. Come on. You know I'm here for you. You know I'm here for you. I've got your back. I've got your back. I am a sister who's walked alone a lot of the time. But I'm a sister who has also heard this too. And I can tell you the great difference that it makes to me when a sister kisses my cheeks and says, I know. I know. Don't even waste your time telling me how painful it is. I know. I understand. But come on. Come on, girl. No, don't give up, sweetie. Come on. You know I love you. Come on. I will kill them all if anybody comes near you. It makes a big difference. Usually, it's an empty promise. But the fact that somebody says it makes you smile. It gives you a little bit of impetus. More oomph in your soul. And yes, every sister needs that. You form a community around her. You wipe her brow and her cheeks and you push her up not pull her down your knee and your arms should be ready for your sister to use as a leg up your shoulders should be available for her to stand on your experience should be available for her to use your connections should be available for her to use you should build a ladder of sisters and your list of them climbs right up to the very top you do that for your weaker sisters. Not everybody has the energy to climb the wall and scale the wall the way you do. And so when you see a sister less likely, fat ones like me, who might not be able to climb, you crouch 
you allow your shoulder to be a step up and I should step on your shoulder and you stand with me because you are taller than me and because you stand a giant I reach higher because of you and when I've climbed this is the beauty of it it then becomes my job to drop a ladder for you to climb up and join me and we push each other a step up a step up a step further all the time do you get it sisters advocacy is not about talk no no sisters advocacy is all about action I'm sorry all action not just talk talk is cheap in this instance so I'm telling you and I'm doing it and I'm living it and yes and yes and yes I've seen progress for sure you never tear your sister down that is self-explanatory don't tear your sister down this particular one is going to end on this note don't tear your sister down go think about it and in the comments tell me what that means never tear your sister down build your sister add capacity to your sister add a feather to your sister's cup you should be a blessing to your sister at all times my name is Emma Manson and I am a sister's advocate what about you are you